Hello and welcome back. So this is uh, the second part on how to create a 3D uh, model of your conquer canoe or mold. And as I mentioned in the last parts, if you're looking to get your mold CNC, then you need to provide some uh, 3D CAD files. I'll go into this. So like you want to make sure like your 3D model is completely finished, including any features you want um, in the mold like shown on the canoe model. Uh, so first thing we gotta do is that sometimes your surface may not be flat. Uh, well, we're going to make sure that it's completely flat. So we're going to choose our front plane and we're going to I'm going to like cut two millimeters off the top, just to, uh, just barely enough. So make sure like your entire uh, top surface is covered, just to make sure we shave off everything. Um, hit OK, and it's just like the last video. We're going to make a extrude cut, so we're going to draw a rectangle, covers the canoe. Click OK, uh, exit sketch, and. We're going to make sure it, yeah, looks good. Um, and now we've cut the top of the canoe off. So we're going to next go to insert mold and parting line. And we're going to use our plane that we just created and do draft analysis. And it's going to select two lines. And that's all you need. Um, the, it doesn't select things automatically for you. Those two lines are the outer edge of the canoe. So click OK. Uh, next, we're going to go to insert molds and parting surface. And we already have our parting line. We want to just put in 1,000 uh, millimeters or one meter just to like expand the surface a bit. And you'll see why in a sec. So hit OK. Now we're going to go to insert molds and tooling split and we're going to, they're going to prompt us to draw another sketch. So we're going to click plane two and which is the, like the plane we created. Uh, that's directly like touching the top of the canoe. And we're going to draw a rectangle. The rectangle has to completely enclose the canoe, but also be enclosed by the surface. So that's why we, uh, increase the surface to like one meter. So this will give us a lot of space to draw a rectangle. Um, so that's okay. So it covers the canoe, but not, it's also uh, surface is completely enclosing it. And okay, and then exit sketch. And usually the default options are good. Like you'll watch it, like the line for the cap core and cavity and then the surface for the parting surface. Um, something it doesn't do automatically is like sometimes it'll just, your depth will be just set to one millimeter and you want your depth to make, to be covering the entire like uh, depth of the canoe. So like just drag it out, make sure it covers the canoe. Like doesn't matter what it is. Um, I have a, for example, 1.5 meters, but anything will do. Click OK. Um, at this point, like this is the point where you might get a lot of errors in SOLIDWORKS and you'll complain about like not knitting surfaces together or um, just uh, like can't define the core and cavity. Um, all I can say is that you want to make sure that whatever you do is exactly matching this video. So like um, for me, like, <laughs> It's always frustrating when I get these types of errors and I just have to go back through my notes and make sure it matches every screenshot like perfectly, like exactly. Um, like, and some, most of the variables don't matter, but like you eventually find some do. So you'll end up with this weird looking like box on top of your parting surface. So your mold is in there somehow. Um, you want some, you're going to have to hide some stuff. So like, this right here, like that's our 
mold model. Um, just you want to hide that. Next, you're going to um, want to hide some de like any face of this rectangular prism. So just right click and then hide. And lastly, you want to hide your parting surface. So I'll yeah, hide this. And now you have basically, well, your uh, canoe model. So, and you'll notice like if you have ribs, you'll notice on the ribs too, but you'll have like this kind of uh, perfectly uh, indent of your uh, gunnel. So it's going to be exactly like how we specified, like 10 millimeters indent in the mold and five millimeters tall. And that's how you'll know like you have a good, like your model's okay because you'll see those indents for the ribs and uh, gunnels if you have them. So uh, normally when you like, like normally you don't want this like rectangular uh, prism something. And, but uh, you can't really hide it. Um, so because it's like part of the mold. So what you'll have to do is like cut it. And this is not really a hard process. We're just going to define um, a reference plane. So just there's many ways to do this, but like I find you just select the front plane and then for your second reference, you're going to want to select any points along the uh, canoe that's not touching the rectangle. So that should do like the entire uh, rectangular base is selected. Hit OK. And then same thing as before, we're going to extrude cut. So just draw a rectangle, boom, boom. And make sure it goes, we, want to, we, don't, we don't want to cut the canoe, we want to cut the rectangular base. And yeah, so now we have our canoe. So uh, it looks, Good. Um, there's ways to create a base if you want some additional like like this control for the gunnels. Um, but for now, like we're only going to create a simple model. So um, obviously, you can't get like you can't just CNC an entire like five and a half meter or like twenty foot piece of foam. Um, you're going to have to like split it up into a bunch of pieces. So. I find the easiest way to do this is like, um, say, cr creating a plane. So I'm just going to um, just play around with, like, you don't like when it, when you're splitting up your canoe mold into pieces. Like, um, it doesn't have to follow this. Like, your 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 own like uh, decisions will your own like constraints will probably affect this a lot more, like how much foam you have or what sized foam you have. Like, for example, our team, we have, we only have like those foam sheets you use for insulation, but some t teams may have like, giant blocks of foam they're able to get. Um, for now, I'm just going to split the canoe in half. So we just create a plane right down, right in half using the right plane and just offsetting it by two and a half meters. And to create a cut, we just, or create a split. We just go to insert features, split, um, select your body. Um, or I guess all bodies, but uh, to be more exact, like we're going to want to like um, select only the body we want to cut. So in this case, it's going to be cut extrude three, which is the last uh, modification we made to the body. And then for our trim tools, we want to um, use the reference plane that we just defined to cut the canoe and just click cut bodies and then select both. And then we basically uh, are able to like split the canoe. We basically have our two pieces. So um, we're just going to auto assign names. Uh, uh, it's going like, all right. Well, it's going to tell you to save and then 
from that you should be able to split your canoe into pieces. So this is, has been like the tutorial to first create a 3D model of your canoe that you can use for your um, AutoCAD drawing or your CAD drawings that you need in construction or your construction drawings. Also to uh, create a uh, mold, a male mold uh, for your canoe if you want to get a CNC'd or if you want to just um, so all sorts of cool ideas like you can make a practice cast using like a one uh, to two scale model or um, anything like that so uh, yeah that's been it and make sure to follow our social media to get more updates on University of Toronto Concrete Canoe Team.